India. Oh, it's next to China. Interesting. And okay, that's where Egypt is. Oh, hello. I, I was just um, I was just reviewing my globe as as a good missionary. I, I like to to uh, practice where all the countries in the world are. So uh, I see you all have come back for my third and final video. Uh, thanks for coming back. It's been a pleasure to be with you all. Um, in this video, I want to take a few moments to build off the last video. The last video, we talked about how as Orthodox Christians we need to have a vision of the United States as a mission-minded area. As Orthodox Christians, we need to be able to share our Orthodox faith with the rest of the world. And so if you haven't seen that second video, I'm going to give you three or four seconds to go back to that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, by now you've had a chance to pause this video, go back to the second video, watch it. So now that you've seen that video, we can talk about how to accomplish the vision that we talked about in the last video. So in this video, I want to talk about how we as Orthodox Christians can form a mission-minded parish and church in here, the Hampton Roads area of Virginia and in the United States. So I'm going to give you three principles in this video. Principle one of how to make a mission parish is looking outward, not inward. And this is a very big concept, but the idea is everything that we do as Orthodox Christians should be having in mind the others who are not part of our community. And so we need to begin to look at all of our ministries, all of our services, and everything that we do through the lens of those who are outside of our church. So that we need to begin to form our ministries with an eye to those of us who are not in the pews, who aren't here. For instance, the ministries that we have now, are they formed to serve those out of our community? Can those of us, those people who are driving down the street here, can they look at our church and be welcomed to our, our, our community and to be, become a part of the community? And so the idea is to everything that we do, have a focus of looking outward and not inward. The second idea that I want to talk about very briefly is making our Orthodox faith more accessible. And when I say accessible, I don't mean we need to strip away the icons and we need to get rid of a lot of the beauty and the teachings. But think about it. When you're an individual and you first, you're a non-Orthodox individual and you first walk into an Orthodox church, there's a lot going on. You've got incense, you've got men dressed up in fancy clothes, there's swinging smoky censers, there's weird music going back and forth, some of it more on key, some of it less on key. There's a lot, there's people making prostrations, there's a lot going on in our worship. Let's do the best that we can to make that person comfortable and feel welcome in our worship services. That means small things like making sure that the language that the service is done in is also the language that the congregation speaks primarily. That also could mean things like having a welcoming committee that is committed, a committee that is committed, to making sure that these individuals are able to follow along with the service. Just a few brief ideas on how to make our Orthodox faith more accessible to the outer world. And finally, I want to talk about how we can form a mission committee. It is a concrete idea of how we can take a mission committee that can kind of pull all of these ideas together. So what is a mission committee? It is a group of dedicated individuals in the parish that come together with this mission-minded mindset. Wow, that's a lot of M's. Mission-minded mindset in order to, to make sure that all of the ministries and all of the activities that we have throughout the year are in fact oriented towards sharing our faith with others. They also, they also can be people that literally just formulate mission-minded activities. We already here at St. Nicholas, there's the walk that's done every September, and there is support of, of Project Mexico and other things, but we're talking about the United States of reaching out to the wider community that is in Virginia Beach and in Hampton Roads. And so with those three ideas, with 
looking outward, not inward, with making orthodoxy accessible, and finally with forming a mission committee to bring all these things together and work along with the clergy for this, we can begin to create that vision of a wider orthodox America here in our local area.